Fridays. Fun fact, Fridays. <laughs> and um, I am so excited to be coming to you guys today with the fun fact of this Friday. As you know, it is Black History Awareness to this month, we gonna give our little shout outs to all of the African Americans that previously made an imprint and gave us the opportunity to do the things that we do today. Um, this week, I am talking about Majorie Stewart Joyner. Yes, she is the creator of the permanent hair wave machine. Yeah, that sounds like all intricate and stuff. <laughs> it's it's so like. So, I mean, it is like if you look at the image, I'm still confused on like how it works and everything, but it is an amazing creation. Major was born October 24th of 1896 in Virginia. Uh, she stayed there for most of her life. <clears throat> Once she finished her high school career, she went to cosmetology school and she got her cosmetology license. From that point, she moved to Chicago. When she got to Chicago, she met Madam C.J. Walker, another amazing woman in the beauty industry. Um, last week I talked about Madam C.J. Walker for our uh, Black History Awareness Month and we talked about Madam C.J. Walker being the first self-made millionaire that is African American and she happens, just so happens, to be a woman. I love that. That is so empowering coming, just looking at the path that she walked as a woman, being a woman. I love that. Thank you, Madam C.J. Walker. And now we're going to continue on with Miss Majorie. Miss Majorie met C Madam C.J. Walker and she began to work for her. She was the overseer of over 200 beauty schools, the Walker Beauty Schools that Madam C.J. Walker um, created for the industry. And not only did Major Reed's um, joiner participate in helping beauty schools, she also was in charge of the creation of products and things like that for Madam C.J. Walker. And that is where she created the permanent hair wave machine. Um, after that, she continued to be an activist. She created, I mean, she founded a fraternity and sorority Alpha Chi Phi Omega. Majorie also created a, a, a national association for black beauticians. Not only that, Majorie knew Eleanor Roosevelt, which is an amazing acquaintance. They were actually friends. And together, they founded the National Council for Negro Women. Majorie is truly an inspiration for any young lady who is looking to progress her career and know that she can make it through our future. We thank all of our African American women and men for the imprints that you've made and the footsteps that you created for us to follow through. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate BU Crew. Yes guys, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, getting educated, and learning about Majorie Stewart Joyner. Miss um, Majorie sadly passed December 27th of 1996. She was a great woman, and I truly appreciate her inspiration. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead. I got the rest of the day to work and get some hair done, and I appreciate you guys tuning in. BU Crew, keep supporting. Share, like, subscribe. All right, guys, bye-bye.